Oh, hold on. Sorry. I had my microphone off. I was talking. I couldn't. I didn't have my microphone on. Hello, Cristia. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine. Yeah. I recently, uh, yes, yes uh, I, I don't know. I, I forgot the idea. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, how was your day today? I today I had a a, a long, very long day. <clears throat> I start at four p four a.m. Oh wow! So right now I'm sleepy, but but I do my best for to be here. <laughs> Yay! Um, well, thank you. I really appreciate your your effort. Yeah, I thank, thank you. you for for um, putting all the effort in, into being here, even though I know it's it's not the easiest after a long day. It's it's hard to be connected, but thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Yes, and also I I have been um, practice with the mm -hmm. the link that you share, share with me oh, the first day. Okay. Yeah. And how is that going? I think it's very helpful. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. You it, it's it's helping you with the with the listening? Yes, yes, a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I understand very well these listenings, but I don't know um the records that in in, in test or or exams that that I I made. Uh -huh. I for me it's confused to understand. I don't know why because it's it's on the radio <laughs> uh, records or 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 yeah records of for YouTube or, or I don't know or the platform of for the this academy or I don't know. Okay, so what you can do? I think I I explained last time, or if I didn't, um, let me explain now you can do is that there are different levels of um of uh intensity let's say of the of, of the conversations so if you're finding that they're easy then go to the next level so uh, if they are um i think they they're divided into easy intermediate and difficult I think it is something like that so if you're yeah. if you're at easy then go to intermediate if it's at intermediate go to difficult yeah yeah now I am in the intermediate mm -hmm. oh good okay yeah good. yeah because the easy I think is is very easy <laughs> yeah exactly it's yeah, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you you can try that, and and see how how that works for you, right? So, um, if you're finding that the intermediate is is too easy for you, then go to the difficult one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm really happy to hear that that it's working out for you. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. A anytime. Anytime at all. Yeah, excellent. All right. Well, now we have more people. Um, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Wendy. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Good evening. Okay. Very. <laughs> How was your day today, Wendy? Uh, a little, a little busy. Uh, for mm -hmm. I um I make <laughs> I don't remember I make no make make made made I made uh form of American visa oh. oh. Okay, you Born completed. For... Yes. Not not made, but you completed. You completed. No. no, no, I made. You made it. Yes. 
is my work. I I work in a travel agency. So you so I you do you assistor no agent uh, travel agency uh, I am uh, a travel agent okay then but you still you're you're not making it you're you're because uh, l l I'm going to explain to you in Spanish so that you get the idea okay uh, when you say make usually in, in English means that you create que usted lo está oh. creando ¿ya? Oh, ajá, entonces okay. eh, no, no sí, ajá, exactly, so I, I don't think you're going to be making it um, yeah. you would be what, completing what the your, verb use? use me you would have to be fill in yeah, fill in or complete complete Oh, yeah. okay. Complete or fill in. Oh. O sea, re, lo llenó, right? Oh, Llen, okay. llen, llenó la, oh, la, el formulario. Okay. Yeah, so fill yeah. in or complete. I can write fill it in the, in the chat. Fill in form of, of American visa. Mm, okay. okay, hold on. Uh, let me find. Okay, here it is the chat. Okay, so yeah, um, so you can use fill in. Fill in is like the phrasal verb, right? Which is a little bit more informal. And if you want to be more more formal, it would be complete. Right, so you fill in or you okay. complete a form. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, very good. What about you. um? You're welcome. So, so you, you're a travel agent, and and yeah. you help you help people with the, with the um, a, the travel documents as well. Yeah, travel mm. documents, and I sell travel tickets and reservation with a. With hotel, hotel, mm, hotels, hotels. Yeah. hotels. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, very good, excellent. All right. Um, let me see. Hello, uh, Romario. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, How are you? I'm good. I'm good. A little bit tired, but the the normal. <laughs> hmm. uh, it was a regular day. It's a regular day. Okay, okay. Um, what is a regular day for you? Like, well, is a what's a how day, a, day with, a day uh -huh. a day without problems? <laughs> um, just the regular okay. stuff. Okay. Regular activities. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Was, good. Was not. BC. What time? Uh -huh. was not not stressful nothing hmm. about that. Oh. okay good and um what time do you start work uh, i work from 8 a.m to 5 p.m mm. okay so an eight to five job okay yeah. not bad not bad at all okay good good well i'm glad that you were not too stressed that uh, that's good yeah, and we yeah. only have one more day left, so that's one more day of the week, yeah, right? So, tomorrow mm -hmm. is a similar day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so too. Very good. Hello, Delberth. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Yeah. What about okay. you? Not bad, not bad at all. Um, yeah, thank you for asking. How was your day? It was pretty good. All yeah. my activities uh, was so quiet. Mm. Your activities were quiet. Yes. Mm. 
Okay. Um, it was a normal well, day, I think. Okay. When you say that your activities were quiet, what do, what do you mean by that? I mean, uh, when my day uh, doesn't have any problems, uh, the activities uh, were normal. Uh, mm. People that I uh, uh, that I supervise or, or, or coordinate uh, uh, doesn't ha uh, doesn't have problems. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, kind of, so almost almost stress free. Yes. Free mm -hmm. of stress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. 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 I'm I'm glad to hear that. And. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you for connecting too. Appreciate that. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, hello, Jorge Humberto. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Th thanks for asking. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing okay. How was your day? Uh, my day was kind of, I don't know, boring maybe. Really? Why? Yes. Why boring? Because I finished with something that I was doing, but uh -huh. after that I was expecting something that never, never can come. To, ne uh, to, never to, happened. To, never happened to uh -huh. to do the next activity. Oh, okay. no, I was, was I was expecting for for that information that never come. Oh, okay, okay. So, do you think tomorrow? Yes, might tomorrow. Have... Tomorrow, yeah. I will do that that activity. Okay, good, good. I hope everything goes well for tomorrow. Tomorrow, sometimes yeah. it happens. We we expect something, but it doesn't happen. So, yeah. Okay, good. Um, hello, Susana. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Hi, Fontaine. Good, good. How was your day? Hey, hi, Fant. Um, hey, maybe it's a normal day. <laughs> a normal day. Oh, okay, well, everybody's having normal days, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, excellent. Um, and um, uh, any... Any um, well? Do you do you work on the weekends or just tomorrow? Um, is the no finish the month teacher? Mm -hmm. It's a day. If if finish, uh, come on. Ultimos? What do you say? Ultimos? Last. Last last day is the month. Uh, the work working today was the last day of the month that you worked oh no no ah it's the no sorry uh, yes uh, i normally uh, i work in the in week and in como fin de semana no <laughs> oh. only only a uh, how do no only a uh, the month uh, finish last last month last day uh, the finish finish uh, the month oh okay. Uh -huh. okay i can i can i can work oh okay okay very good mm -hmm. excellent mm -hmm. okay well I'm, I'm 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 glad you only have one more day left of uh of work that's good excellent yeah, okay. Um 
Uh, there are four people there that I know are connected, but I cannot see your faces. So Wendy, Maria Elena, uh, Diana, Jennifer, Elizabeth, if you can turn on your yeah, camera. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, but I'm doing some additional tasks from my work, and then I that's why I'm not. I haven't turned on turn my camera. Okay, it can, is it possible for you to turn on your camera even if you are at work? Okay, hold on, let me check. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Maria Elena and Diana as well, I cannot see you. All right, perfect, excellent, thank you. Hello, Manuel, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Good evening, good, everybody. Good. good evening. How are how you? How you been? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. How have you been? I'm oh, very good. Um, um, I consider uh, today as a was a normal day uh -huh. uh, in my my duties, but. Uh, I for uh, this day I consider uh, the the uh, the day was a uh, very hot. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Uh, uh, that's that's why I am I am fresh than ever because <laughs> I I took a shower before before the class. <laughs> ah, okay, I see. I see. But, what's what's the temperature like right now uh, sorry teacher i didn't listen uh, what's the temperature like right now well mm, like a 30 uh, 34 35 wow yeah, yeah. uh well yeah I, to be to be honest, I kind of miss I miss uh, the yes, weather. Yes, but during your your weather, yeah, in your yeah. Country, when you are, it's yeah. a big big difference. Yeah, big it's big cold. difference. It's cold. It's cold in Turkey. Um, right now here in Istanbul, it's six degrees. Mm -hmm. Sixty, but uh, no six. Ah, uh, six. Oh, yeah. Wait, six in our in our country. Uh, I am. Uh, I, I, I am. I will frozen. <laughs> you will be frozen. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's six degrees right now, um, and actually, well, that's what my computer says. Let me just see, check. Sometimes. Um, uh, Where are you, huh? Where are you? I'm in Istanbul. Istanbul. Yes. Turkey. In Turkey, yes. Um. So far yes. Away. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, it's at, right now. It's nine degrees, and it's real feels seven. So it's nine, but it feels like it's seven. So yeah. So see. And that, that's why you guys will always see me like sometimes I, I will be wearing a sweater or a shawl like this. I always wear like a shawl because at this time it's it's like cold, <laughs> you know, it's and, you know, so I it's always a little bit chilly at this time because it's five in the morning. So, yeah, it's a lot. The, the, the Sunday teacher was in the marathon of L.A., I, I told Yesterday, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the temperature was almost the the most of the the time in the in the world was about 10, 10 degrees. Ten degrees, yeah. Okay, so you you have an idea what I'm going through. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's 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 um it's tough. It's tough. But I don't. I don't the, like the cold, honestly. The, the temperatures, or do you say, sensation? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the real feel. The real feel is is different. Exactly. Because, yeah. Because when there are some wine, is colder than wind. Mm -hmm. Wind. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and here in Istanbul, it's always the the real feel is always lower because we are surrounded by water. So it's always colder than than the re like than the actual weather. So right now it's it the feel the real feel is seven, even though the weather is ten. So it feels oh. like it's seven. Uh huh. So yeah, it's it's always colder because it's very humid, very very humid. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> that's life. So I I I I envy you guys right now. 30, 34 <laughs> degrees, 35. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but like they say, you're you're never happy where you are because if you if it's too hot, you're like, ah, you know, I it's too hot. If it's too cold, ah, it's too cold. So I never hear you. I'm here yeah. in San Miguel and I oh. consider how there is about 38. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine that. Wow. <laughs> I've I've never well I have been I've been in like 40 degrees, 42 degrees weather. It's but it's horrible. It's horrible. No, well, wouldn't wouldn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. Uh, let me see who, who else I haven't said hi to. Um, it, Maria Elena, are you there? Yes. Okay. How are you? All uh, right. <laughs> My home. Okay, good. All right, excellent. And also, Diana Elizabeth, are you there? Oh. Yes, teacher, There's... I'm here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Um, how was your day? Uh, my day was really boring too. <laughs> really? I'm on vacation right now. So today I'm, I just rest a lot. I sleep a lot. Wow. Okay. Well, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're, you're resting and getting um, your energy together. Have you gone anywhere? Have you, have you um, traveled anywhere? Yes, uh, the last week I went to Colombia. Oh, wow, nice. Mm -hmm. well, that's why I couldn't connect Monday because that's the day I, I came back. You came back, I see. Okay, where, where in Colombia did you go? In Cartagena. Oh, nice. I've, I've always wanted to go to Cartagena. It, it looks it's like really a... Beautiful. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. The 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 um the buildings there's you know they're they're quite amazing and by yeah. this in all everything by the sea it's, yeah but it's really I, hot too <laughs> yeah i can imagine yeah i can only imagine but but you know it's worth it yeah yes i i i went um to bogota which is totally the opposite it's yeah. actually very cold in Bogota, but it's it's nice too. It was very nice, yeah. And and another place I want to go is Cali, but I I want to go to Cali because of the of the the dancing, no. you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like a the the cap the salsa capital. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad you're. You're having such a great time on your vacation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take attendance right now. Um, so
So, um, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, so I'm going to call out your name. Um, Grisia? Present. All right, wonderful. Um, Delberth? Here I am. All right, excellent. Uh, Diana Elizabeth? Present. All right, excellent. Um, Jennifer Elizabeth? Here. All right, excellent. And Jorge Humberto? Jorge Humberto Vela? Jorge Humberto, I see that you're connected, but I, I can't hear you and I can't see you. Are you there? Jorge Humberto? Hmm. Okay. Um, Manuel Antonio? Manuel Antonio Present, All right, excellent. Um, Maria Elena Guadalupe? Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Mario Ernesto Avilleda. Present. All right, wonderful. Ma Mario Jose Valle. Mario Jose Valle. Not here. Okay. Uh, Norma Carolina. Villeda. Norma Carolina, I don't see her. Okay. Uh, Romario Gamaliel Portillo. All right, excellent. Silvia Suleyma Rodriguez. Silvia Suleyma Rodriguez. No, I can't see her either. Uh, Susana Beatriz Ortiz. Sorry, Beatriz. Yeah. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Thank Present. you. And Wendy Maribel Sabaleta. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So just a reminder that remember our classes, um, our class is a very small class. And um, you know, we've been we've been giving our authorization for for you guys to open to for you for our class to be open with 14 students but that with the condition that everybody connects right so um you know please try to connect uh, from the beginning be here the whole class uh, you know and and if you need to be absent make sure that it's because of a very you know, important reason, something that is out of your control, right? So please always try to to connect when like every day if possible. Okay. All right, guys. So yesterday we were in the middle of um of the the vocabulary. Um oh God. What happened here? We lost a few people. I don't know what happened. Anyway, the thing is that we were in the middle of um, the the groups. I, I believe everybody got um, it got the definitions. We got all the information we needed. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, I please. I. Just a reminder, I need you guys always to have your cameras on. Jorge Humberto Vela, are you there? Se encuentra ahí, Jorge Humberto. Okay. Mario Ernesto, are you there? Mario Ernesto Vella. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. There you are. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Oh, okay. excellent, excellent. Thank you. Um, okay, it's because um, so everybody finished their their vocabulary word. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yeah. 
Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I we're going to do the second part that I that that I told you about that we we didn't have enough time to to do um, yesterday, which is to change um, the groups uh, so that every group is going to have one representative of each group. Okay. Um, by the way. I wanted to mention something. Uh, who was the in the group? Let me see if I can remember who it was. It was Delbert and Manuel Antonio that I was talking to yesterday. And um, we were talking about this word. You guys remember, I'll write, it, I'll write it in the chat. Yes, okay. You guys remember this word? Yeah? Yeah, okay. sure. All right. Um, yeah, so I wanted to mention something because I don't know, I don't remember if it was, it was Delbert or I, I don't remember who it was, but anyways, um, you guys said, you said, oh yeah, I have to look into it. I have to look into this word and re remember the pronunciation. And that got me thinking. And so I did a little bit of investigation and turns out that this word and I, I wanted to share this with everybody because um, uh, I think this word is going to come up in the discussion that, that you guys are going to have in a moment. So I wanted to bring the, up this point that this word I found out actually has two pronunciations. Um, and, and they're both correct. Okay. So um, this word can be pronounced homogenous. Okay. Homogenous. 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 Or it can also be pronounced homogeneous. Homogeneous. So both of the pronunciations are correct. And actually, um, I found this video and I'm going to send it to you guys um, so that you have it. Um, so I'm going to send. It's actually quite interesting. So I'm going to send it to you guys so that you can watch the video later on. So I just sent it to the group right now. Um, and it's about the pronunciation. So you're gonna find in English, there are a lot of words that can be pronounced in different ways. Um, and they're both correct. Uh, it's going to, many times it's gonna depend on the region um, where you're from, uh, even in one country. Some people from one region pronounce it one way. So other people from another region pronounce it another way. And, and and they're correct. They're both correct. It's words like, for example, either, either, right? Um, the word often, like uh, Americans usually pronounce it often. Uh, British English is often and so forth, you know. So, you know, there are certain words that, yeah. But this one in particular is very different. Uh, the pronunciation off is right, um, homogeneous and homogeneous, and they're both correct, right? And there's there's there are other words. In fact, I don't remember the 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 example in this particular moment, but there are other words that mm, there's no um, what's the word? There's no consensus as to exactly how it's pronounced. Um, depending on the dictionary, you will find different pronunciations. So it's, it's yeah, English is a very interesting language that way. <laughs> so just letting you guys know. Anyway, all right. So what we're going to do in this moment is I'm going to make the groups And I'm going to make the group so they're homogenous in the sense that um, I'm going to have uh, somebody from each 
group that we had before so that in each group there's going to be at least one person from each group that's the idea um okay so um we can just just have a little bit of patient here with me while i i get this together Okay, so okay, just bear with me for a moment. Trying to okay, so I have the okay, so in so in we have for Milton Pot, we have Delbert. From the demographics, we have Jorge, Humberto. Sexual irritation, we have Jennifer. And from disability, we have uh, Grisia. Okay, so that will be one group. Another group. We'll have uh, Manuel Antonio from Melting Pot. From demographics, we'll have Sil Silly Suleima's not here. Was there anybody else in demographics? Alguien más estaba en ese grupo de demographics? Uh, me, teacher, I was with uh, Silvia. Uh -huh. Just just the two of you. O only the two of you? Yes, all, all she with, with me. Okay. Okay. All right. So just the two of you. All right. So we'll figure something out. Mm, sexual orientation we have from Mario, Romaniel, and... And from disability, we have Norma, but she's not here, so we'll have Wen Wendy. Okay. Um, okay. From demographics, that's it. Sexual orientation, we have Sus Susana. And from disability, we have Wendy. Many of us not here. Okay. All right. So. From the people that I can see that will, that are left over, um, we have Diana, Maria Elena, Mario Ernesto, and Ma Mario Jose. You were you guys in any of the groups yesterday? Uh, the internet connection yesterday at the end. Who was that? Who lost it? Diana. Okay, Diana. Okay, and Diana, I where? Okay, just just a second. Um, Diana, which group were you in? I wasn't assigned. Oh, you weren't assigned. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, who else did you say? Who else said that? That was. Here yesterday, and I didn't mention. It was Mario, Mario Jose. No, I I wasn't connected yesterday. I, oh, I was did. working. Okay, okay, all right. So no, okay. So what I'm gonna do is the following. So since you guys don't have a group assigned, I'm gonna assign you a group, and what you're gonna have to do is. I'm, I better say, I'm going to assign you a vocabulary word and you're going to have to investigate it like now, basically, um, and to explain it from what you understand in this moment, okay? So um, let me see. So um, Diana is... Eh, 
you are going to be investigating. Let me see. Vienna, you're going to be investigating melting pot. Okay, melting pot. And uh, Maria Elena, you are going to be investigating demographics. Demographics. And Mario Ernesto, you're going to be investigating uh, disability. Okay. And Mario Jose, you're going to be investigating. Um, oh, oh, just give me a second. Uh, Mario Jose, you're going to be investigating demographics. Okay, yes. Who's who is saying teacher? Me, teacher. Okay, yes. I, I will investigate disability. Sorry? I will be I will investigate disability. Um yeah, I think that's what I said. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. And right now I'm going to put you in the in the groups. Okay, oh, better so I already put you in the groups. I'm going to be opening the groups. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be explaining to your classmates what you investigated about those, those vocabulary words. Okay, and explain it in your own words. So I know that there are some people that I just gave them the, the new word. So um, you, I know. But try your best not to go to the internet and or better said, you can use it in the internet, but don't use the exact words of the, the internet. Try to explain it in your own words and try to give an example as well so that your group can understand better. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Any questions? Yes. No. Okay. Yes, All right. Sure. Everybody knows which is the word that you're going to be explaining? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm opening the rooms right now then. Okay. Who wants to start? Hi guys. Um okay, so I, I just wanted to mention something. This is the group that has the most people that I assigned a new a new role to. So I think the only one that um already knew the information from yesterday was Susanna. Right, Susanna, so what was your topic from yesterday? Yesterday is uh, education, sexual. Sexual orientation. Sexual, uh, sexual orientation. Okay, all right. So um, let's start with you because you are the only one, I think, from this group who investigated yesterday. The others, I just gave them the the vocabulary word today. So, um, yeah. So let's start with you to give the others also time to investigate. Is that okay? Sorry, teacher. I don't understand very well. Okay. So, every, so um, Susanna, you are the only person in this group that was here yesterday the other people in this group um i just gave them the word to investigate so since you are the one that is better prepared 
let's start with you. You do your you you do the presentation first. You explain, and that will give them chance to a, do some investigation right now for the other people. Does that make sense? Okay, uh, it's a presentation or the other topic. No, no, it's a yesterday. Okay, what was your topic from uh, yesterday? Uh, only a uh, but is uh, yesterday or in other other company comparators. Okay. Okay. Otros compañeros, no, no okay. Ellos. Exact. O sea, Susana, ahorita estamos haciendo mm -hmm. un grupo nuevo que supuestamente cada quien iba a explicar la, el vocabulario que había investigado. ¿Usted investigó cuál? Ayer era el que estábamos hablando, era educación sexual. Educación sexual. O education, no sé qué. I think it was sexual orientation, not education. Orientation, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, good. Okay, so we're going to start with you. Usted le va a explicar al grupo y después ellos le van a explicar los demás. Do you understand? <laughs> Okay, teacher. <laughs> yes? But it's a, a no investigate, teacher. Eh, only lo que estábamos viendo en la clase. O sea, Para... o sea en usted hizo... ¿Qué más, no? En el grupo, no, usted... No. O sea, hablamos. Ajá, pues sí. De... Porque... Exacto, Ajá. a eso me refiero. You're going to share right now the information that you investigated with your group yesterday. Okay. Bah. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so you're going to start, Susana. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. I don't <sighs> Um, major other topic. <laughs> but it's a, a for me. He is the major shoes uh, in Google. Uh, the topic, but it's a uh, talking uh, uh, between compartner. Uh, but is I don't remember very well. <laughs> Understand I just yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> but it's a single definition for everyone. I mean, my case is the graph. Your what is your investigation? Yes, Your everyone work. has a topic to have to speak about. It's different. Yes. Okay. In my case, it's melting pot. And I was reading about it. And it said that melting pot is like a place where there are a lot of people different people uh that have like different opinions or ideas but they exist together and they can create like new ideas or to fusion something new to to create something new <laughs> that, that's all i can read about But uh, what do you think about the same gender or the same, yes, uh, I don't know is the correct word, the, the same gender, um, female, female, and male, male. Well, I think, uh, first of all, we have to 
have respect okay. for everyone and well everyone has the right to do what they feel like doing the people okay. they want the, uh, the people they, they love so it's okay it's a, just a, a question no problem, yeah. very good thank you okay hey wendy are you ready <laughs> or mario uh, oh, oh mario she... Mario uh, uh, is uh, trying <laughs> <China. laughs> with the with the topic. Uh, uh, Wendy, what what were your topic? Your uh, what's your, the word? What's, what's the, the word? No sé cuál es el topic. I think it's disability because estoy, because para uh, variar estoy así como que. I I I we can we I can talk, talk about, about that melting pot melting pot. Uh, Mario uh, was talking about sexual orientation. Mario is demographic, and I think <laughs> you have disability. The, the only one that the, the that remains <laughs> is disability. disability. I think that is when a person has a special condition or okay or how can I say uh, limited. Ability to, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but oh, it's oh, when somebody okay. has a special condition that, uh, well, I don't know how to express it. Okay, no, <laughs> but, yes, but, yes. This, uh, disability is, oh, it not, not work, uh, a, con, a special condition and not yes. work, or... For example, uh, a, a people or a person work in suffer accidents in after his disability. Is it right or no? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, uh, you are right. Uh, I, I, can I add uh, when uh, you are, uh, you mentioned it, uh, when a people, uh, when a person have an accident, and for consequence, in consequence, they uh, they stay uh, in special condition. Uh, for example, when they uh, lost one member of their body, uh, uh, or uh, in general, I think is when this person stay in condition, in disabled condition, right? Okay. Also, also, also when in in sometimes when people born born, we. Uh, he or she, she born with a disability, disabled for the brain, for your legs. Okay. I don't know. For sense, for oh, the, the, the the vision. Yes, yes. I like I like that that minister work uh, some years ago. They they uh, have a um, law that each people each community is to study yes uh, I, if you don't know that <laughs> i don't know what 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 you're planning definitely they they need it to to create plans in in that uh, using that statistics and and keep the the people uh, interesting or if they want to to sell a product for example but they they have to know uh how to prepare the 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 advice that they want to to present to that kind of people
Okay. okay. I don't know if somebody want to share something else. Are you guys finished? We finished, teacher. We finished, yeah. teacher. Yeah. yeah, all all the, the vocabulary words? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Okay, okay, very good. Um, we still have a few more minutes, um, so I'm just going to go to the other groups and check they're finished, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Hi, teacher. We already Hi. shared uh, the things we investigate. You guys are finished? Yes. Okay, wonderful. I will see you in the main room in a, in, in a, memo, in a moment then. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, please. I can't, I can't hear you. I can hear you, Mario. Hi, guys. Sorry, I just wanted okay. to make sure so, you guys are you guys finished, or do you still need more not time? Yet, teacher. Not yet. Give me one. Not minute. yet. I I yeah. I just uh, I guess I guess I just completing to find <laughs> okay. out what is the demographics. Uh, oh, okay, I see. No problem. I'll give you two more minutes then. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that the demographic uh, uh is relate to the different characteristic of the uh, population mm -hmm. uh, or a uh, group segmentation that taking consideration the the age the the race mm -hmm. the, the age the race mm -hmm. uh, the marital status uh, the sex or the gender uh, the number of children okay or the, the also i guess in order it is in, into the demographic the the socioeconomic status i guess it's uh, the demographic is related to the characteristic of a population uh, okay it, like a like a register yeah, yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's kind of a data. A data, yeah. Right here. <laughs> it's kind of data of, of the all the population. Uh, for example, what kind of population? If you uh, make a, a small group segmentation, for example, in in your neighborhood, uh, maybe you can make a. Uh, demographic statistic and you can see what are the what are the range or of the ages of the people living there if most of them are older or if you consider that uh, some of them are oh, young okay. is 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 kind of to make a statistic of the population okay very good <clears throat> I uh, I think each country or every country have uh, uh, their own statistics. For example, I remember in El Salvador, I, I, I don't know if it actually exists this this association or this organization, Asociación Demográfica Salvadoreña, right? <laughs> I guess, do, I do guess. You remember? Yeah, I guess was in charge to make the, the census, I guess. I don't uh, remember, yes. kind of. Yes, uh, uh, every every born, right? Uh, the, 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 the how much, uh, how much uh, members in family in El Salvador, right? Children, uh, uh, teenagers. I don't know if, if you remember, but uh, some of the years, Ago, I remember mm -hmm. that uh, in some 
uh, every specific month of the year, they pass in asking yes. uh, house by house, asking about yes. uh, the people living there, how many people, yes. and what are the gender, the age, what they they doing if they study or only working. <clears throat> yes, uh, you're right. Yes, that's uh, uh to make a life. Okay, guys, so I think the majority of you are finished, right? Um, okay, so let's discuss these, uh, these, this vocabulary, okay? So let's start with the first one, which is melting pot. What can you guys tell me about melting pot? And not the people that were originally um, investigating about melting pot, but the other people that heard what melting pot was about and what did you understand about melting pot? Uh, I I understand teacher mm -hmm. or maybe I, I was thinking melting pot is to refer uh, to a, a specific place but but I understand that my partner Say that is a is a is a place could be like a city when there are many people from many cultures that they are uh, living together in the, in the same uh, city. So the city is a multi pot melting so, melting pot multi pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, good, good. What else? What else can you guys tell me? What did you understand from what your classmates explained to you? About the melting pot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a, a multicultural blend mm -hmm. uh, where it's a uh, uh, a mix of what a lot of cultures and ethnicities and a, a, well a lot of things that makes something is what um Delbert said is homo homogeneous or homogeneous. Mm -hmm. Homogeneous, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. Very good. That's very mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah, very good. Would you say that El Salvador is a melting pot? No, I no, no, no. Not really, right? Yeah. Maybe a city like New York or London. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So, um, exactly. So, so we're we're t we're talking about here uh, a place where there are many different types of people. And each one of these people, um, they integrate together, right? Um, so yeah, definitely. Very good, very, very good. Okay. Uh, all right, now what can you guys tell me about, what was the other one? Teacher, uh -huh. I have a question about uh, this work mm -hmm. um, multiple. Is, um, multiple. Uh, this definition uh, uh, refers a full set different cultures or in a place living different cultures 
This word refers to different people of different types, but it's different types of people from different backgrounds coming together to form um, one, one, one whole society. So, um, actually, I don't remember if it, who who was it. If it was Delbert or Manuel, mentioned something about uh, the metals, right? Who, who, who was like it? The metals. Uh -huh. Yeah. Could you explain like, um, that to me again? The the the, the molten pot. It's a it's a metaphoric. Uh, it's a it's a a thing the thing that you blend any metals metals uh, that blend uh, you fusion it and uh, you, the result are, are, are one thing. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, melting pot is a process where the people of a multicultural uh, characteristic. Mm -hmm result in a homogeneous society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a process that you need many tolerance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way El Salvador is not a multipod because well uh, for, for 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 this kind of thinking we have a war. Yeah. And in those uh, we 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 continue with difference. Yeah. But uh, so cities like uh, New York, uh, uh, like uh, 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 I don't know how you say Mario. I, I think Mario said New York. Uh, many people of different cultures live in a in a in a in a one place yeah. in a process of tolerance. Mm -hmm. But something in something very important to understand about melting pot is that it's not just that we have many people from dissident societies coming together, it's the fact that they become one. So it's, they literally uh, fuse together to become one, one's whole society. So even though their backgrounds are different, even though, uh, you know, they, they come from, you know, they have different experiences and anything, but they become just one. And this is a very good example of what happens in the United States. That, um, you know, the idea within the United States is, you know, you come to the United States, it doesn't matter what your background is. You can be Latino, you can be um, African, you can be um, Asian, European, whatever. You come together, you're now American. Okay, and you're now um, American, period. Like, And so we're all gonna become Americans. That's it, everybody is now an American. So that becomes the melting pot, right? Because as, as Delbert said, it's a, uh, um, homogeneous or homogeneous um, society now, right? So they're all going to be one, one society, not different societies. Something that's different, for example, in places like the like Canada. Canada is actually not a melting pot, even though Canada, um, even though Canada is a country that has many different um, uh, different cultures, different um, people from different backgrounds and everything, but it's not a melting pot. Actually, if we're going to be using a met uh, metaphorical um, comparison, it would be more like a salad. Okay, so Canada is not a melting pot, it's a salad. So, you know, you guys think think about a salad. A salad has many different ingredients, mm -hmm. right? Um, but none of those ingredients mix together to create one, one, one vegetable, right? No, it, they are all different vegetables that come together 
and you can enjoy each vegetable differently. But together, they become a salad. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So, um, so, yeah, so there are different ways that societies can come together. Sometimes they can be a melting pot and sometimes they can be a salad. Yes, right? teacher, uh, uh, about you, you said in Canada, mm -hmm. uh, someone mentioned uh, one opportunity that in Canada, uh, like you said, is a, is a salad, mm -hmm. for example, uh, there are parts, uh, it's, a, it's a small groups, but they, uh, uh, Russians, because there are a uh, French community, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like also the, the money, right? Uh, they, uh, they have a, I don't know what is the 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 the, the coin or the the, the money Canadian or, the Canadian dollar. The uh, yeah the Canadian a, dollar. Yeah. But, but the, the, the in France, in France, I don't know if if, if what is the the the, the money the, the the. In France. Yes. In, in the uh, in France is the. Euro. Yeah, Franco. the euro. It's Franco. Uh, I don't yeah. know if they do that, but it's, uh, uh, it's Franco. Well, I don't know. It's, anyway, it's another uh, But but this this small groups, uh, the society in general, uh, la, uh, they see this small group like a uh, uh, type racism. I. I I know about uh, some someone mentioning this, mm -hmm. right? But th th that's why it's not melting pot that you that you. Yeah, you yeah. So so what what the thing is like I said, uh, the idea of in 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 the United States is, um, doesn't matter what your background is, if you come to the United States, you're now American. So now we're all going to be Americans. Doesn't matter where you're from, what's your original country, you're now American, period. In Canada, it's not like that. It's like, oh, okay, you are from Guatemala. Ah, okay, great. Um, you are from China. Oh, great, excellent. You are from, uh, from India. Ah, oh, great, okay. So now let's learn about each other. Like, um, and... Um, and so we are now, we're not all Canadians. No, we are, you know, uh, Salvadorian Canadians. We are, a, you know, um, a Indian Canadians. We're Chinese Canadians, et cetera, et cetera. So even though we are all Canadians, but we respect each other's background. So we keep on having a, your own identity. Yes, and, and it's okay. You can live in in small communities and uh, with the people that you know you uh, you know there could be like a community, a Russian community, and then there's an, a Chinese community, and we can live separate, but we can also live together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One one question, teacher. In, yeah. in Spanish, in Spanish, we can say that kind of uh, cities or, or region could be like cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That could be the translate the melting pot. Uh, cosmopolitan um, refers to people of different backgrounds, but like I said, there's melting pot, there's salads, right? and both of them are cosmopolitan, right? So, um, but definitely to have a melting pot, you need a cosmopolitan city. Yes, 
Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. All right, so is that pretty clear what a melting pot is now? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yep. Okay. I still see some people. Suleyma, I don't know if you're there. I can't see you. Diana also, Mario Ernesto. Sometimes when you're on your cell phone and you're and you you're, you're, you switch applications, the camera from Zoom turns off. So just be careful, guys. Suleyma, Mario Ernesto, Diana, are you there? Maybe they're not. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Demographics. What can you understand? What did you understand from demographics and not the people that originally investigated? It, so Lima, are you, um, are you having problems with the microphone or, or the camera? Mm. Ah, there she is. Okay, good. All right. I just, I couldn't see you. Thank you. Um, also, Diana and uh, Mario Ernesto, we can't see you guys either. Okay, so anyways, demographics. Let's talk about demographics. What did what you understand? Hello, Marilena. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. It's, um, statistical data. Um, mm -hmm. relating uh, to the population, mm -hmm. example is um, how many women, uh, or female, men, child, uh, gender of the people, all, mm -hmm. all that is demographics. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, so singular woman, what's the, what's the plural of woman, Maria Elena? Female. If I say okay, one woman, two. Woman. Woman. No. It's irregular. It's an irregular noun. So one woman, two. Women. Women. Two women. Women. Yes, that right. And one child, and two. Children. 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 Yeah. Okay. So just just be careful with it. One one man, two. Man. Men. Exactly. Yeah. So those all of those words are, are irregular. So just be just be careful, guys, with that. So it's one child, two children. No S. So child does not exist. Children's doesn't exist either. Um, one woman, two women. No S Amen. either. Yeah. So no, it's not woman's or wi or women's. No, not no S. The same thing with men, right? So one man, two men. No S, right? So it's not two men's. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent, though. Um, okay, so, yes, demographics or data. Yes, very good. Anything else that we, we, we want to add? Anything else that you guys learned about demographics? Can you guys give me an example of demographics? Well, um, about the newborns, mm -hmm. uh, they have, um, well, government had an statistics about how many children uh, were born for, yeah, children, yeah, well, babies. Children, children. Children, yeah, children were born per year, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Very good. 
Okay. Um, next is sexual orientation. What did you understand about sexual orientation? Not the people that, that investigated it. People uh, that... I, I understand, teacher, that in sexual orientation, it doesn't matter the, the gender. The gender? Gender, okay. Mm -hmm. The gender and uh, just uh, people that are the, the same gender could be attracted by by other one, mm -hmm. maybe man to man, woman to woman. That that is feature that I understand. Okay, all right. Anything else? Anything else that you guys understood from sexual orientation? That's it. Okay. All right. Um, also, um, for you guys to know, um, especially in, I, I, it's more common in the United States that they have also popularized lately uh, the use of pronouns for different sexual orientations. So now people identify, uh, they may not identify as a he or a she. Sometimes people identify as an it or they, you know, or something else. Okay, so that's also part of the sexual orientation. So, um, for example, is I may say no. I don't want to be. I don't want to, people to refer to me as she. I want people to refer to me as it. Or I want people to refer to me as they. That's also part of the the sexual orientation. Okay. And in in that case, teacher, how do you say or who is the best? way to refer when when for example a man is attracted by by a woman is the word attracted or or likes or which is the the best word to to refer uh, mm -hmm. that relation uh, for example uh, tommy likes maria or Tommy prefer Maria uh, over the... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, attracted to. We say attra attracted to. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, um, so I can be attracted to men or I can be attracted to women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? About I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria. This uh, sexual orientation is not the same to the gender. It it, it has to do with gender, but um uh I mean, it does have to do with gender, but it's about um, sexual orientation has to do mostly with the tolerance of um, of having a, the attraction to a gender that is not um, commonly perceived as like normally we like we say um men are attracted to women women are attracted to men so sexual orientation um is perceived um as yes what is your gender but who are you attracted to in fact for example 
um, there are situations where it's not just simply like a, a man is attracted to a man or a woman is attracted to a woman. But there are situations where, for example, somebody can be a um like have a a um what's it called um oh, let me let me think of the word um yeah let's say a a, a, a sex and um, sorry no what would it be a oh I'm trying to find the word well, but let, I don't let, know. Uh -huh. The definition that that we found is that uh, is a person that attracts someone else, no matter the gender, and is is uh that is attracted to other people and wants to have a relationship with. And it's about feelings, and it's about uh, it. Yeah, yeah, about feelings and 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 they said it's sex or attraction also. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very. Yeah, exactly. Um, eh, what was in is I was trying to figure. I just lost my train of thought. Um, I don't. I, I don't there's 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 a specific word for it, but I I can't remember right now. The thing is, eh, for example. Um, there could be the situation where uh, somebody has had a um, an operation, let's say, to change their um, a, their gender. Okay, dress gender. Yeah, but I, wow. but I forgot like the type of of of, of operation. Well, anyways, anyways, let's say um, to give you an example. Um, a man changes to become a woman, right? So they have a, uh, a, a an operation. And so now they look like a woman, but they can be attracted to another woman. Does that make sense? Oh, no. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, so they operate, op, you, oh, well, operate yeah. like a to a, a to to look like a woman to look like a woman yeah to attract another woman another woman yeah now if... transgender or something like that yeah i i'm to yeah i think i think you're right well no but transgender is just when you know. are when we you were a, a woman and now you're a man or yeah yeah for for example okay so i'm a i'm i was born a woman okay so yeah okay so now i'm going to have an operation and i'm going to turn myself to look like a man but I, I i am now that i look like a man i am going to attract i i'm going to attract and want to have a relationship with another man Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. I think I think this is a mix of of trans and and lesbian or or gay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I yeah. The, the, I, to be completely honest, I'm not uh, very uh, aware of all the terms that they use in in, in the LT LTB. G, I don't remember what the the the, the, yeah. the but they 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 use different terms and I'm not really familiar with all the terms that they use. Have, but yes, mm -hmm. have yes. you read or hear about a man uh, getting pregnant? Yes, I read that. <laughs> yeah, I read Where? about that. That you suppose that man <laughs> was pregnant. But the thing is that actually was a, a person that that uh, birthed as a woman and made the transition to be a man, get well, married, get married with a woman, 
that born as a man that made the transition to a woman. Huh? Wait, so... wait, wait. <laughs> okay, now I'm got yeah. confused. Two person. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, uh, they born as a woman and men. The woman made the transition to a man and the men made the transition to a woman. They get married and the woman trans transgender uh, get pregnant because indeed naturally was a woman, not a man. Right. <laughs> yes, I remember. That that that's that's something else. Okay, so yeah. Teacher, there, there are words mm. that are pansexual. I don't know the, the term, but there are exist that that gender. Yeah, yeah, that too. So all of those things together is talking about sexual orientation. All how of the do you things say, that... how do you say uh, 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 <laughs> what a mess. I don't know if the well, word that you trying to find was a sex reassignment surgery. Mm, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Se sexual what did you say? Reassignment. Reassignment Re surgery. Reassignment. Yeah. 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 So there you go. Yeah. So all of those things. And I mean, um, yeah, so because we're talking about here um, diversity, these are things that we need to understand that they they occur, that they happen, whether it is that whatever it is that we believe. Um, remember yesterday we we're talking about values. And so each one of us has our own values. And um, independent of of the fact that whether you you um, agree with something or you don't agree with something or what, what your value is are independent of that these this is the reality this is what is happening right so it, it's important that we understand what is happening right the, and because when we are aware of something then we are it's easier to be able to deal with it when we know what's what's happening right but when we don't know what's happening then that's what uh then you know it, then it's, it becomes very complicated right so this is what it's about being diverse and um yeah this is what this is our reality yeah and like i said there are people that that when, for example, a, you know, in applications, um, they say, "Are you a, are you a man or a woman?" And then they have then there's have one that says unspecified. Like sometimes, like they say, "Okay, like I'm not going to say that I I I don't feel a woman and I don't feel a man." So that's another another thing about sexual orientation. It's asexual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are a word that they use like binary, binary, or, or not binary, or not binary. Yeah, there are a lot of terms. To, uh, there are a lot of terms related to that. That, to be honest, I'm not familiar with all of them because uh, there, it's a whole different world out there for all of those different terms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. That's enough about sexual orientation. Now let's talk about the last one, which was, what was the last one? Let me see. Disability. Disability. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what do you guys understand about disability? As I understood, is the kind of uh, lack of lack of capabilities to do some things. 
uh, I guess it's also related to physical capabilities. Capability. And also uh, mental. Uh, just it's like a mental the the mental capabilities to do something or to act uh, or to be yourself. I don't know how how to explain, but to act like yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. What else? Tell me. What else do you understand? I I understand almost the same that Mario said is lack of ability that can be uh, mental or physic physical 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 physical. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. And I like the fact that you guys um, mentioned that, that it's not just something physical, but also it could be mental as well, right? So, um, and this is, I think, sometimes the one that is a little bit more difficult to, to understand because physical disability is easy to see. You know, somebody yeah. has a physical disability, we can see it, we understand it. But when there's a mental disability, um, we sometimes do not understand it because we can't see it, right? So, um, and, you know, this is actually much more common though we realize it because people don't go around talking about, I have a mental disability. And by mental disability, um, it, you know, there's, there's a lot of different uh, things that could have a that could make a mental disability not necessarily an illness that you're born with but even just a temporary condition teacher also what? i was thinking about a uh, uh, like you you said a uh, disability mental disability or physical disability but uh, I was thinking about the autism problem. Mm -hmm. but yes, uh, in, in part, uh, this, uh, this disabled, uh, this, yeah, disabled people, uh, they can, can do something, but they they have a, a, a special cap a capability to do something that I think you and, and me uh, uh, it could be don't don't do it. For example, um, one day I I see I watching watching TV, uh, I, I see. Uh, one person that she has uh, autism, uh, but they played the uh, accordion. I don't, I don't accordion. know. Accordion. Accordion. Yeah. Uh, very well. Mm -hmm. Very well, like Aniceto Molina. But I say, wow, uh, he has a disability, but he has a special ability yeah. in something. <laughs> Actually, um, autistic people, uh, first of all, there are different levels of autism. Yeah. Um, it, so there are people that um, they're not like their autism is very high and they cannot uh, function well in the society. But there are those people that are they have an autism that is functional. So they can even go to university and you know, and many there's even a type of um, of autism that a, where people like are geniuses basically. They're 
Yes. They're, they're at a genius level, and yet they have autism. And uh, many of the people that are autistic have a very special talent, I would say, for a certain thing, something, uh, different different things. But yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there, there are lots of different... Um, yeah, and, and just like autism, not just autism, there's other, um, there are other uh, disabilities that, you know, people may have, but they they can overcome it and do amazing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, recently, uh, all other mental condition that is, uh, I'm, there are many, many cases, it's uh, uh, Alzheimer mm -hmm. or Parkinson in the companies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, in fact, recently uh, the government uh, uh, make a law, make a law uh, has come out uh, to make the companies to have a one a dis a disability person for. 20 persons in the company. Huh? Then, the, uh, yes, it's, it's recently, uh, the company uh, are worried uh, because all the personnel have to change for mm -hmm. disability persons or or hire uh, for uh, many new. positions, uh, new positions to, uh, for disability persons. And the, mm -hmm. the staff of uh, human resources is worried about that but because uh, it's a law that it, it, they have to comply to with it. Comply with it. Wow, that's interesting. Yes. Huh. I, I hear yeah. that uh, in, in the beginning of this week that uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's the, the personnel of human resources is worried about because they have to hire people with uh, any disability. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's interesting, yeah. That's very very interesting. Hmm. Okay, very good. So, do you guys have any other questions that you, or anything else you want to add about disability? No. Okay. All right, great. So in that case, since we've talked about those that vocabulary, um, we're gonna go on to our next, oops, sorry, let me stop that for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. All right, so I'm going to show you my PowerPoint. Can you guys see the PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we are. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna talk about commas. How to use commas to set off parenth uh, parenthetical infor information. So uh, uh, parenthetical um, element is, oops, sorry is a sentence that can be removed without changing its essential meaning. What does that mean? That basically, this is information that is not needed, and I'll repeat, not needed to complete the idea in the sentence. Okay, so let's say, um, yeah, so this is information that uh, we can easily take out um, of the of the sentence and it would make perfect sense, okay? So uh, examples of this, cultural diversity in a company, uh, comma, so they say is indeed a is sorry, is indeed a necessity to further improve growth. So 
what part of this is a parenthetical element? Which part? So they say. Mm -hmm, exactly. So they say. So this part here is something that is not um, essential for the, the sen for the sentence. I can easily just say cultural diversity in a company is indeed a necessity to further improve growth. And that would be okay. I don't need to add the other part. Okay. Um, now, how do I show that this information is not necessary? By putting commas. Okay. So if you notice, I set aside the, the um, parenthetical element by putting a comma before it and a comma after it. Okay. Next, take, for example, the activities in which employees uh, participate that facilitate understanding and tolerance of differences. So here we have another example. Where is the uh, parenthetical element? For example. Where is, where is the, the commas? Yeah. So which like one is? For example. For example. Sorry. Okay. Um, actually, for example, is what we call a uh, transition. Okay. So um, a transitional word. Um, all of those transitional words that are used in the middle of a sentence are um, parenthetical elements. Okay, so any words like, for example, for instance, um, however, um, therefore, moreover, um, as a result, blah, 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 whatever those things, if they are in the middle, okay, um, we are going to set them aside with the those commas, okay? Just as we have them here. Um, so to show that we don't need them, they just add more information there. Uh, we put two commas, one before and one after. The same thing here. In a fast-changing world where the ability to innovate is now recognized as the main competitive edge, Companies must seek to create more diverse teams. Which one is the parenthetical element? Or phrase. Where the ability to innovate in no say as the main competitive age. Exactly, very good. So this was a big parenthetical element. This is a very long one. But we I can identify that it is a parenthetical element because we don't really need this information. Okay. Um, okay. So I can easily just say, in a fast-changing world, companies must seek to create more diverse teams. And that'd be okay. Okay, so this is not important information. It's not going to really change the meaning of the sentence. Okay. So, like I said here, this is more of an adverbial phrase. This is a transition. And um, this would be a um, a relative clause, okay? So each one of these are parenthetical elements because they are not necessary to complete the meaning of a sentence. They just give you more information it's being more specific, it's showing an opinion or whatever more, okay? So um, that's why it says the parenthetical element is sometimes called added information, okay? 
so, or additional information is the same the same thing okay so so the added information this information is separated from the rest of the sentence by commas the distinction between extra and needed information can be a subtle one so for example they say cultural diversity in a company so they say how do i know if this is if this is um necessary well take it away if it if it still makes sense then then we understand that it's a parenthetical element if it really needs that idea to complete it then it's not it's it's essential but in this case we're just showing an opinion which really doesn't change anything okay and this one is just telling me it's it's just connecting two ideas together um but i can easily take it away and it would still make sense okay and here here i'm just commenting on the fast changing world okay i'm just um giving you information about the fast changing world but that's it i'm not really the important part about the fast changing world is that or or, or the better said the most important part of this is that companies must seek to create more diverse teams that's the most important part but really giving you information about fast changing worlds it's not that important okay so however especially in this last one it may be a it, it may be very subtle like you are thinking is it necessary or is it not well not really it's not that necessary but sometimes it can be a little tricky so when in doubt Try deleting the word or phrase to see whether the information it provides is merely supplemental or truly necessary for the sentence. So, in other words, try doing this. So, cultural diversity in a company indeed is indeed a necessity to further improve growth. Can I can I do it that way? If I can, then it's definitely going to be a parenthetical element. The same thing here. Can I take all this away? If I can, then it's it's okay. The same thing here. So try doing this. If this makes sense, then we know it's a parenthetical element. Does that make sense, guys? Uh, one question, teacher. That yeah. kind of that kind of complement could be at the start and also at the end of the sentence or always is in the middle of the oh. um, it um it's when it's in the middle when it's in the middle we separate it by two commas when it's at the end or at the beginning, we separate it by just one comma. Okay. Um, but it's possible that this kind of information uh, be be located in that in that place at the start and yeah. at the end. Yeah. For example, I could I could say, um, let's let's. Let's take this letter B. I could say, oops, sorry. I could say this. Take the ex the activity in which it employs participate that. Facilitate understanding and to learn some differences, for example. And still, is that for example would be not necessary for the full idea, but you can put it at the end. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher, thank you. Um, 
yeah the like the difference is that if it's going to be in the middle you're going to separate it by the two commas okay, okay. all right very good question anything else Uh, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I, I was uh, working in the, in the platform, mm -hmm. but I stopped in this in this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, but the instruction said, mm -hmm. uh, like you 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 are explaining, mm -hmm. right? But the question is uh, about the when in doubt, try mm -hmm. deleting the word or phrase to see whether uh, the the paragraph or the sentence uh, mm -hmm. is is here. But uh, just in the platform, just uh, only separate by commas or delete the the uh, information the or, or extra information <laughs> because I try but. Uh, the the answer was uh, wrong uh, according but, sorry what is what is your question exactly could you repeat uh, right uh, we read uh, in your uh, powerpoint uh, when in doubt because i i, I am the the student manner uh, when in doubt, try deleting the word or phrase to see whether the information it provide it provides is merely supplemental or truly necessary to the sentence. I I I, I have to to the to uh, delete the parenthetical or you only separate by commas. If it's if there is a supplemental information, if it's uh, parenthetical, then you're going to be separated. The answer is going to include the commas. Yes, but not necessary to to to, to the lead. No, no, oh, okay, no, don't don't. Basically, um, just give me a moment. Let me just check. Okay, so you, first of the, th there's two parts to this, this exercise. The first part is identifying what part is the, it, it better said, if, if there is a part in the sentence that is a parenthetical element, that's the first part. Okay, you have to do with this exercise. So you read this, the sentence and you see, is there, additional information in other words okay if there is no additional information you're just you're going to leave it like that you're going to leave it exactly as the sentence is your answer is going to be exactly as the sentence is because there's nothing else that you have to set aside okay. but but if there is additional information then you're going to set it aside by rewriting the sentence and inserting the commas in the correct place. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sounds sounds good. Yes. Okay. All right. Excellent. Tomorrow, yes. guys, because um, today we we already ran out of time. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some exercises. We're going to be writing some exercises um, about this topic. Okay. So right now. Before we finish off, let's um, take attendance. Um, okay, so um, Christian? Present. All right, Delbert? Present. Diana? Present. Um, oh, by the way, Diana, um, today we have our session together, okay? So you can stay after the class. Um, Jennifer? 
Jennifer Elizabeth. Here. Okay. Jorge Humberto. Present. Eh, Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, wonderful. Um, María Elena. Present. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Mario José. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina. Romario Gamaliel. Romario. Present. Okay. Okay. No, me, no se me el, el okay. no problem. Silvia Suleima. Silvia. Okay. Okay. <coughs> eh, Susana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, and Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, thank you guys for uh for connecting. Um, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. 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 All right. I'll see you tomorrow. You. See you tomorrow. Good so, night, people. Bye. Good night. Uh, good day. Good day. All right. Hello, Diana. Hi, DJ. How are you? I'm tired. Hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sometimes also when after a a vacation, you need another vacation to recover. <laughs> yeah, it happens. So. Are you, but are you still on vacation or are you? Yes, I'm still, I come back uh, the other week. Oh, okay. So you start Monday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Um. So you've been, have you been working on the platform? Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. Uh, only in the, in the. The ones that we work here in the class, uh, the first and the second. Homework. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So, um, okay. So the first thing is, is um, I. So that means that you the platform is working, right? So you don't have any problems with that, right? No, no, I don't. Okay, good, good, good. All right. The second thing is, um, remember that tomorrow is the last day that you have to work in the in section one. So I would strongly suggest that uh, you work on it today or, well, the good thing is that you don't have to work tomorrow. So you can have all, all day tomorrow, but make sure that you have it finished by tomorrow um, before before midday. Sorry, midnight, okay. before midnight. Um, yeah, so... Um, so this brings me to my next point. Do you have any, have you had any problems with the information from the class? Are there any any questions that you got, that you have about what we have seen in class? Um, only with the platform, um, with a few of exercise, uh, they give always wrong the answer. And I try to write it in all the okay. kind of way I could, but that always give me the, the, mistake. the wrong answer yeah okay yeah I, I get it sometimes that happens it, can you remind me like hey, do you know which ones they are so I can maybe we can look at them uh I don't I think it is uh let me check okay I think it is the third To one point three. Um, the one we work on Tuesday. Uh, do you remember which which number it is? Is it one point three? No, I don't remember. And I'm trying to find it, but I, I don't. I can't. Oh, here it is. 
Uh, it is the one point seven. Uh, I got. I have run the number one and the number two. One point seven. Yes. Okay, let me check that one right now. Oh, it is the four. Number, number one and number two, you said? Yes. He considers making... And I write everything. Okay, so he considers making... What did she write after that? Yes, he considers making his presentation about communication in the workplace. Okay. That. Uh, you have missed the word diversity and ah okay so you have to add that word there about I'm trying and I read it a lot of times and I didn't see that it's okay it happens See, that's why it's always good to to um, to talk to someone else because sometimes other people see what you don't see. Yeah. So. But there, are, there is, he considers making his presentation about diversity and communication, right? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, Excellent. Very good. And then number two, right? Yes. They suggest creating. I give me a second. I lost it. They suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Can you, can you repeat that again? Yes. They suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Did you say that insurance or that insures? That insures. Yeah, that's that's the right way. Uh, could it be that you have have an extra space? No, I can't. Or maybe you haven't put the period or a capital letter? Uh, uh, let me see. Maybe it is that. Because that is the correct answer. Yes. Yes. I missed that. The period? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, any others? No. Uh, I work in that three or ah uh, there i only missing one but one. i'm going to work on tomorrow oh one exercise from yes an exercise okay okay all right no problem um all right uh, so basically then you have been you have been working in the, in the platform yes when we work here oh, at, okay. the, at the class Ah, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. So everything else you, you understand it? It's, it's clear? Yes, me too. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Anything else that I can help you with? Or something you wanna ask about? Not just not, not necessarily about the class. It can be any other um doubt that you have. I, sometimes we we see something and we we wonder, oh, you know, I how does this work? Or um, the only question I have, uh, <laughs> it is about 
uh, English corporativo if you don't have any other schedule because I think that for a level there's only this one right from a to ten I believe so yeah that's that's why um we may like they they gave us the chance to um to open up the group um with with less students than than we normally do because um there's basically no other uh yeah there's there's no other um time so um as far as i'm concerned yes if you want you would have to wait for i, I don't I, I don't even know what are the other courses that are coming behind but you would have to wait um the only thing I do know is that, um, for example, there are courses in on the weekends, but they are usually like lower courses, so you would have mm -hmm. to wait for a while. Yeah, why is this is this um schedule not working for you? No, <laughs> uh, it is getting really tired for me because I started in October from last year so mm -hmm. there's almost five months <laughs> so I am really tired uh, because I have to wake up to 6 a.m and I came here at seven o'clock and only have one hour to rest and then I have to be in class and I go to the gym at 10 p.m so it's it's getting <laughs> Yeah. too much for me. yeah I understand um yeah it's 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 difficult to to uh, to balance everything out but um what I can tell you Diana is in the end it's going to be worth it I and and the good thing is that I mean you're almost finished it's not like it's it's not like it's going to be forever you know you're almost finished like you're the the this um program finishes uh an advanced six and right now you're in advanced two so you're almost you're almost there you have basically there is you have gone through well this is the 14th course in the program and there's 18 in total so you're almost there so a little bit of sacrifice i know I know it feels like a lot right now, but in the end, it's going to be worth it. I promise you. And one way that you can see it is this way. Time is going to pass anyway. Like whether you are studying English or you're not studying English, the time is going to pass. Right? So it's better to have time passing while learning something productive and something you're going to use afterwards than for time to go by and just say, oh, I missed my opportunity. Yeah, or, you know, I've, I've, I've had students tell me, you know, teacher, I started learning English because um, I had this opportunity, really good opportunity to go to, you know, to such and such place or to have such and such job but they asked for me to have a certain level of English and I didn't. And because of that, I couldn't, I couldn't apply to that job. I couldn't apply to that opportunity. And so I lost it. So imagine if, if, if they had thought about that before, they wouldn't have missed that opportunity. So yes, I, I know that it's, it's sacrifice, but what I was, I always say sacrifice is, leaving something good for something better so um for example I'll, I'll give you an example have you thought of um maybe like you said that you go to the gym at 10 yes okay have you ever thought of maybe doing exercise and exercise at home instead of going to the gym no i don't like it Okay, so I know you may not like it, but is it possible for you to do it? No, not really. No, there's no way that you can do 
any exercise at home, some weight uh, training, or like, no, I don't know. No, because no. of the kind of training I do, I can do it at home. Okay, but can you modify it? I prefer to modify the, the schedule from the classes. I don't want to quit the classes. I just want to, to switch the... Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. But like, since we're talking about the fact that there is no other schedule, unless you wait until the others that are way behind come and catch up. Um, like I said, there's sacrifices, sacrificing something good for something better. So what you have to decide is what is the sacrifice you're going to make? Yes. right so what for you is the best sacrifice what is the what has the most value for you everybody has different values everybody has different priorities so you have to decide what's what's more valuable for you but in the end like i said a i think the best thing that you can do is try to figure out what's going to bring me the most advantage okay okay and remember you're not that far away you're not that far away anyways you're gonna you're gonna finish this module right so um that means that after this module there's only three more i'm oh, no, sorry four more four more yeah okay. four four more mm -hmm. that's it only four okay so okay yeah so anything else that we can help you with we're here oh, no, no. and um you if you if you need to ask me a question you can best you can write a message in the group or you can write directly to me whatever you prefer okay okay all right okay so take care Diana, and um uh enjoy your your last days of of your vacation <laughs> thank you okay all right take care bye, bye.